was nothing to our 28 year old ex Muslim. Ex Muslim. Relationship is the most important thing. My life was bad. I had no life. I was dead. I wanted to die. You know, I didn't have anything. But when you have a relationship with God, who loves you so much, He gives you the best. He gives you the best when you know Him. It's relationships. We miss it all for. You think we're all good? We're imperfect. We were made perfect. We're imperfect people. And Jesus came to give us a relationship right with God. We're not right with God unless there was a pure Savior. He's the antidote. He is the antidote. He is the antidote. Save yourself, don't wait for Listen, help because it's you can't relational. Say, Let me tell you my story. Let me tell you my story. And then maybe you can understand how God takes you out of death and he brings you life. I was dead. I had no life. There was no purpose in my life without God. I was dead to this world. I did not love anyone. I did not have a life. I was dead to myself. I was addicted to things. The world packages this thing up that looks good on the outside. But it's empty in the inside. It's empty. If you're empty and you're living just to be here and this is the final destination, then what is it all for? It's for nothing. No one can actually, no one knows what it means to be satisfied in life. We go to drugs, we go to drugs, we go to alcohol, we we we, we want to watch porn. We think that's what brings us life, but you know what? That's how the world packages it up. The world says, you know what? What looks good on the inside outside that's what you should have but you know what when you open that present up you see how empty it is the world goes you know what sex before marriage is good it's not good it's not good it's not the best for you i was like that i was like that i had relationships with guys after guys after guys i was that kind of girl i went to clubs I went to done all this, I had addiction issues, I had a porn issue, I had all these issues in my life because I was finding that. The world said, you know what, if you can, if you can find life in these things, then you're good, you're good, there's no life in that, there's death. That's what these were saying. Do you know what, if you hate someone, if you have envy, if you have jealousy, sin is a condition before it's an action. Sin is a condition before it's an action. So when you hate someone, when you've got jealousy, when you've got envy, all it does is destroy it, it brings you, it brings you apart, it's not together. I am, I am a free person, free from myself, walking into my destiny, walking into my calling, because he loves. I'm a young 28 year old, I don't want your money, I don't need nothing, you can't offend me, you can't hate me, because I'm love, if love is so bad, then why do we all want it, if Jesus died for nothing and he didn't die for love, then why else are we all doing here, why are we doing here, that's historically he know he died, historically he died my friend, historically he died. If love, if we don't have love, we've lost the whole thing. If we can't love each other, and Jesus gave that example, he's so loved, then what is it all for? It's all about love, my friend. Loving your neighbours, loving people who hate you, loving people who tell you that you're not good enough, that you're not doing this. Even Jesus says, love your enemies, love your enemies. How can love be such a bad thing when we all want it? You want kids, you want children. You want a good job and you think that's what's going to satisfy you? You're still empty. You're e absolutely empty. You don't know who you are in God. Your, your identity comes from Christ, not from this world. Christ is, is all you need. You know when you, you know you're calling. You know you're calling because when you're in Christ, everything works for good. Nothing is actually bad in Christ. All things are good because he's a good father. He knows what's good for you. That's why. That's why he says, follow me. Follow me because he's a good father. We think we know what's best. I thought I knew what was best. I messed my life up by believing me, being my own God. I made myself God. I made myself God. And I thought I knew what was best, but I didn't know what was best. And I love Muslims. I love people. I love people, but I was never like this. I hate people. I hated everyone. I just saw the world black and white.
and white. I didn't even know there was green trees. I didn't know there was trees that had green stuff and flowers. I missed it all. My purpose in life was to serve myself. If you serve yourself, you're going to die to yourself. But if you let God be your God and we humble ourselves and we say, do you know, we are nothing. We are nothing. God is so divine. He's so powerful. And all he wants is relationship. We think that you have to be this kind of clever person. It's not about being clever. It's not about how much money you've got. It's not about your job. It's not about your status. It's not about anything. It's about love. And it's not about gender or colour. It's nothing. There's no colour. You can't go to heaven and say, but this person is black and he treats you like this. Can I go to heaven? God's not bothered about your colour. He's not going to say, stood there. What, what life did you have? Oh, I'm black or I'm Asian or I'm white. You're not going to get to heaven based on your colour. It's based on relationships with God. There's no division. There should be no division. The world says separate yourself. Have these classes. Have this here. Have that there. If you're popular, if you look good, if you're a drinker, if you're a smoker, have these little clicks. Have these little relationships. It's not. Jesus so loved. It's about being connected. It's about relationship. The made for relationship. Jesus is the only way when you know who you are in God and you know he loves you so, so much. Everything changes. Changes. Your whole understanding changes. Your whole perception changes. You're not living life for yourself. You're not. Where's God the mother? Why yeah, Mary, Mary, Mary was a virgin. To be on earth, you need a human body, my friend. To be, to be on earth. To be on earth, you need, you need a body. You need a body. So Jesus had to die as human. He had to die as human, but he's also divine. To be on earth, you need a body. He's not going to be a ghost. He was physical, but he couldn't no, be. if he can do anything, he can. He can come without Are you a Muslim, my friend? No, no, do you he believe can Allah can do anything? Why can Allah come on earth? Body? If he wasn't it's true, it's true. Good to come why do you throw that in a identity at him? You put it down there. You've got a lot of problems. We're trying to help one another. I don't want to be attacked. I don't care if you attack me. You can't attack me. Because at the end of the day, love is the core. Love is the core. Love is the core. If you know my friend, if you know my heart, and you know how much I grieve for people because people have missed the whole missed the whole point it's about love if we loved each other do you think we'll be able to walk around like this love is the best thing look at doors because we have no love that's the idea we can't walk down the street because we have no love that's the difference my friend when you know that you're loved and you know who you are you see people differently you don't see color you don't see race you don't see nothing beyond that you just see the person as god sees them i love you because i see how god sees you but not because how I see you, how I see you without God is worse. But you're, yes, yeah, yeah, but we're unemployed. You, yes, but you're not bad. I love you. No, there's no, unemployment. Okay. Do you take you home tonight? I love you. Do you love her? That's the question. No, no, no. What do you call love? Yes, yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. You know what? People say I love you. Perversion. Sin. Sin. Sin is the issue, my friend. No, no. Purity. You need to be pure in your heart. Seek the kingdom of God. And all will proceed. If you don't have purity and you don't have the love of God, then what is the point? We miss to all people. So I just pray right now, Holy Spirit will just come and fill you all. You will just know the Father's love. You will know how much you love. You will know that you're created and designed for Him only, not for anyone else, not for nothing else. He's a jealous God. He doesn't want you to worship anyone else. He wants you to worship Him. And when you die, two questions. What did you do with the life that I've given you? What did you do with my son? It was a free gift for you. And that's all it's about. It's a free gift to be right with God and to love people. That's all it's about. It's not about anything else. It's about being right with God. And when you're right with God, your perception changes. Amen. I was a sinner before. Hallelujah. I love the world's way, but now Amen. I love God's way. And Amen. I want to be pure in my heart. And Amen. I want to love people just Amen. how he loves me. And that is the Love is the whole thing. This world is together because he has it in his hands and because he loves you. If he's so mighty, he could have taken you all out. But he's a righteous man as well. God is righteous and he will not stand for sin. But he so loves you that you are still here for a reason. It's because of love you're alive. That human beings are not wiped out, which was a promise of God. It was a covenant between God and man. That He loves you so much, He's not going to wipe out human beings. That's the whole point. We missed it otherwise. I'm a 28 year old girl. I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying, open your heart. If you want to know if Jesus is real, ask Him. He's a He's big. The truth has to stand for the truth. If the truth doesn't stand, then the Bible says that we should be 
to worship the perfect male. Sorry? Why is God male? Because there is a hierarchy, of course, a man. Really? The man has an authority. Okay. A man okay. has a strength. So no, we're equal. Right. So we're man, equal as man well. Is over woman, then. Absolutely not. Oh. Jesus says that man he and woman are the same. But you know what? When God created the world, why did God why did God let Abraham? Why did God let Adam fall and reign first? And then he gave Eve to the helper. They're meant to come side by side. The man has a different authority. He's the protector. He's the protector. He's the provider. That's the difference. The strength in a man is different to the strength in a woman. But do we come equally? Absolutely. We come equally. There's no there's no hierarchy in terms of male and female. But the difference is the man has a different authority to the woman. You all. Jesus loves you all. And that's all that matters. If you know love and you want to know Jesus' will, ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. For the truth. For the truth will set you free. He's not afraid of that question. If he's really who he says he is, you can ask him. You can say, Jesus, if you are who you say, you will be yourself. Whoever you believe, whatever you believe, has to stand for the truth. When it gets to the